Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks that I have learned on how to start seeds in your home um, that I learned off of Pinterest and of course awesome homesteading YouTubers. Um, with everything that's going on right now, I just feel like this is something very important and that a lot of us should do. Um, even in the situation that I am where I have downsized, as you guys can see, and I'm not living in a big, big space and I'm not even allowed to like till the ground, I am still going to try to be a little bit more self-sustaining and prepare in case anything um, even more intense happens. So um, with that, I'm planting seeds in preparation of having a very, as large as I can, garden to be a little bit more self-sustaining with my food. So I'm going to share some tips and tricks with you guys on how I'm going to do that. It is so beautiful today, but very windy, so I apologize for the wind noise. Let's go inside and plant these seeds. I can't even do planting seeds outside. I feel like the seeds would just blow away. So let's head indoors. Okay guys, so I'm going to start prepping these little containers that I picked up from the Dollar Tree to make up my biodomes. And like I mentioned in the haul where I hauled these, I needed to put holes in them. And of course I could ask my husband to drill holes in them, but he's never home because all he does is work because of this pandemic. So the best thing I found, which I already tested it on a couple, see I got holes in them, is I'm taking my fuse tool that I use for my crafting, which the tip gets super, super hot. So if you had one of those wood carving tools, it would work as well. And because it's super, 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 super hot, it just kind of goes right through. See? And then I have a hole. So if you have a fuse tool, this works. If you have a wood carving tool, or I'm sure if you have a drill and a bit, you can get some holes made, but this is for the drainage. So that literally takes two seconds and I have holes on all of my containers ready to go for drainage. So and now that I have my holes all in here, I'm going to show you how very quickly I'm going to plant one of these plastic containers from the DT. One of these kinds of containers that you get when you get drinks from a fast food um, place and egg cartons. And we're going to make the egg cartons and these all like a biodome just like these plastic containers. So, of course, the first thing we're going to want to do is put the um, seed starting soil down in. And then I also have some scrap toilet paper rolls that I'm going to cut to use as dividers. And then I'll label what seed is planted on the other side with that. So basically, I just cut them in half down the middle. And then I'll stick it like down in the dirt and then I will write like peas, carrots on one side so that I know which side is which when I go to transplant these and put these in their permanent home and get this started. And then I will show you how to do one of the egg cartons and the um, drink holders as well because these are great for making little biodomes as well. And basically all that means is, is they're protected from frost and after you water them in, the lid will cause like condensation to build on the top and then it'll be like a self-watering so that you don't ever have to take the lids off until you're ready to transplant them into their normal homes. And I just wanted to show you, um, I'm using Seed Starting Soil by Jiffy. Yeah. 
you want to put enough soil in there to cover over the holes that you made for drainage. Just make two wells with your fingers. And zucchini, we're going to put two or three seeds in each little well. <clears throat> And then we will do our radishes. They are super, super small. And then what I'm going to do is water them in and then put the lid on. Okay, put the lid on, and there is our first little biodome, and I will put this outside in the sun, and between the heat and it being covered, all of that moisture will begin to evaporate onto the top of the lid, and then it'll be like self-watering. So I shouldn't have to open the lid and water these until after I see a little green sprout, but we'll see. This is all trial and error. We'll see how this works, but this is the containers that came from the Dollar Tree. Now I'm going to show you how to do one of the containers that you get from fast food. So you'll need one of the fast food drink holders and some cling wrap. So what they told me to do is put the cling wrap over this, like so, and push down in so that you don't lose your soil between all the little holes. Just make sure you have your wells made. Okay, then cut it, and then of course you'll fill your wells with the seed starting soil. Okay. So get that nice and neat, just like that. Alrighty. And I'm using one of my house spoons simply because it's small, because I'm kind of doing everything kind of on a small scale. Okay. 
Okay, so now I got four nice wells there. Just like so. Okay. And then in these, I'm going to be planting my onions. So on one side, I'll have these. And then on the other side, I'm going to have chives. So uh, let's see how many go into each one. Okay. So we will open our chives first. Use the other end of the spoon. Make a little well. Other end of the spoon. Make a little well. Okay, and these are very, very small. Oh my. They're black. Okay. That is a chive seed. So I'm going to put three or four in each little well here. Okay, and then cover it back up very loosely. Okay. And then on this, oh, I need to write too. So on this one, I have these. So I have this. Again, my toilet paper roll. So I'm going to write chives. Stick it there. And then onion. And stick that one there. Okay. And then I'm going to do the exact same thing. Make a little well. With the other side of my spoon. And these I know are wonderful. Oh, these are like little black ones too. These are fantastic in stir fries. Okay, so we'll put a couple in here and then the rest in there so they can germinate. Cover them over like so. Okay, pull that over so I don't lose any. All right, we're gonna water them in. Okay, and then they said to make the, here we go, to make the di the, the uh, biodome portion of this, so they're like self-watering, is then you're going to retake the plastic wrap, and you're going to bring it right over. And then that'll serve like a biodome, so they're self-watering, but also because of the area I live in, they're going to go outside. This will also keep any frost from getting to them and killing them before they have a chance to thrive. Okay, and then you're just going to seal that really good with the cling wrap and then that makes another like little biodome isn't that neat and then that'll protect it against frost and everything else <clears throat> what I'm what I might do though is run a little piece of tape around just to keep it secure because I would hate for anything to be killed by um, frost and so I already have all the dirt in here and I strengthened the lid with some washi tape because this is going to become your, the lid's going to become like your holder when you put the plastic wrap over here. And in here I'm planting um, 
my flowers. So this whole egg carton is going to be these pretty petunias. As you can see, the seeds are very, very little. So I'm just going to start kind of sprinkling them in the little wells. Just a few in each little one. Very hard to see, but I can see them going in. I hope they take. Like I said, guys, this is all kind of trial and error for me. Okay, I think I got them all in there now. Okay, and then we're going to cover them back up. Again, we're going to water them in. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use plastic wrap and we're going to make a little bio bag. Okay guys, this is the little biodome with the plastic wrap over it for my petunias. I think it turned out really, really good. Washi to the rescue just to secure the plastic wrap on it. This container though is going to be sitting in my house and so will the container that um, you use like your soft, um, your drinks that you get from um, fast food restaurants because the cardboard will get very wet if we have a heavy rain and kind of disintegrate on you. So these kinds of things you have to keep in your house by a windowsill, but the plastic containers that we got from the Dollar Tree, those can sit outside. And here is all my little biodomes all lined up on my front porch ready to begin growing this beautiful day and now they're protected from frost heavy wind heavy rain they should be good to go and then the ones i don't think you'll be able to see them but the ones that i planted oh little froggy get in dozer in the crates they're right by the front door because if you do get a heavy rain or wind or whatever those will get ruined wet or blow away so those are the ones i'm doing indoors so we'll see which ones do best which ones takes which one germinates we'll check back on all these in a few weeks and see how everything fares so this is the next morning i just thought i'd show you guys before i make this video see how there's water well we had big storms, so there's water sitting on top of it. But like, see here, how the condensation is building on the top of the lid. That will cause that to like keep them the, um, the soil very moist and almost like you know, like a greenhouse, like a biodome, like almost like it'll rain inside of these, so that I don't have to water them all the time. And plus, the white lids reflect the sun in and make it very warm and moist on the inside of these. So I just wanted to show you that overnight it's already doing what I learned off of Pinterest and YouTubers, what these little containers should do. So I think this is a pretty good go. Okay guys, I really hope that that helped you guys. I hope that gives you some ideas. Um, it was very simple. Um, I actually really much enjoyed it, being able to play in the dirt, even though I can't, <laughs> this wind, I can't believe it even though I couldn't like the outside to do it. So I'm just gonna make my intro very short. Um, thanks for joining me. Uh, continue to um, stick
stay safe. I hope everything is going well for everyone. If not, as always, please leave me comments down below. I'd be more than happy to pray with you or talk to you, whatever you may be going through. Until next time, guys, always take care of you. Do what you love, do it large. And uh, yeah, if I don't blow away, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.